We're going to do another problem involving area under a curve over an interval using an infinite number of rectangles using a limit process. So first thing we're going to do again is to find the width of each of those rectangles. We're going to take our B value. We're going to take our A value. We're going to plug them in here. And our result is 5 minus a negative 1 over n, which is really 5 plus 1 or 6 over n. So again, to clarify, if I was using six rectangles, it would have a width of one each. However, I'm eventually going to be using <coughs> infinity, so each rectangle is infinitely small. Taking that number for delta x, plug it in here. Also a again, so negative 1 plus 6 over n times i is my endpoint. Now, I personally think most people are going to have a little more success if I flip that around and write it like this. <clears throat> and there are, that's how I find my endpoint. So endpoint number 1, I would find by plugging in 1 here. Endpoint number 2, I'd plug in 2 for i, and so on. So this is now going to go into my function. It's going to take the place of x. So it's going to be 3 times all of that plus 4. A little bit of algebra to do. I'm going to distribute the 3. And then I'm going to combine like terms. So I'm going to get 18i over n minus 3 plus 4. And combining like terms, I get 18i over n plus 1. This is the rep is the height of any of the rectangles. Again, if I plugged in rectangle one, I would be one, and I could figure out the height. This is going to go in for x sub i. So all of this goes here, and we already have our width from part a six over n. That goes in here. So to set up my sigma, I have i equals 1 to n of 18i over n plus 1 times 6 over n. And I'm going to distribute the 6 over n into each here. 18 times 6, 108i over n squared, because I have n times n, and then I have plus 6 over n. So really I have sigma i from 1 to n of all of that. Okay. I need to break that down. There is a sum really can be broken down into two separate sigmas. First one, 108i over n squared, plus second one, also from 1 to n of 6 over n. I need to now substitute, so I'm going to factor out everything that's not an i from the first one. 108 over n squared here, times sigma i, I'm just going to do a shortcut there, plus take out the 6 over n, leaving just sigma of 1. Again, this is starting at 1 and ending at n, starting at 1 and ending at n. Just a little bit informal there. <clears throat> we get to substitute. So, hopefully you can remember the formulas. If not, um, we only need two, so I, I can take some time and just write them from 1 to n. When you have a constant, it is that constant times n. So over here we have a constant 1 times n. This whole piece is just n. And when I multiply the 6 over n times the n, the n's cancel, and this whole piece is equal to 6. If I have to replace sigma i, <clears throat> it's n times n plus 1, all over 2. 
So this piece here is going to be replaced with this. So you have 108 over n squared times n times n plus 1 over 2. I'm going to do a little bit of algebra, but not a lot. I know that 2 goes into 108 54 times, and I know that this is n squared plus n. Once I have this, this is my formula for uh, the area using n rectangles, but I'm going to do the limit as n approaches infinity. I already know this part is going to be 6 no matter what n is, and I know that this piece, if I think about n behavior, the n doesn't matter, the n squares will cancel, and I'll get 54 here. So 